my name is Melina. I'm with Campaign Trackly, and I'm here today to show you how to save a great deal of time by bulk tagging and bulk scheduling multiple social posts. How does it work? I'll show you how to connect Hootsuite and Campaign Trackly with a few clicks. Then I'll demonstrate how to upload your social schedule into Campaign Trackly with the push of a button. And last but not least, I'll show you how to tag all your links in your schedule with just a few drag and drops and send them in Hootsuite so that they can be ready to be published. Let's start by going to settings and clicking on integrations where we can connect with Hootsuite. You need to have an account with Hootsuite to be able to connect to Campaign Trackly. Integrating Campaign Trackly in Hootsuite is quick and easy. As always, we have no access to your passwords. You own and control your own connections. Once the connection is established, you can go to Campaigns and start tagging. Let's click on Campaigns and the Hootsuite button. A pop-up will ask us to upload our schedule into our app. For convenience, we have provided you with a sample template that you can use. But let me show you my file where I have pre-populated my social posts by day, year and time, um, as well as I have included my social post content and individual links. Once I'm ready with my file, I can save it as a CSV format and then I can easily upload into Campaign Trackly in a couple of seconds. Just click to select your file, hit open and then import. Uploading the file automatically opens our bulk multi-link tagging dashboard. Our app will automatically grab your title and populate it as the name of your campaign, but you can easily rename it at any time. Make sure you have the bit.ly shortener in place before you tag. Next, let's select my social channels. Since the schedule is for Twitter only, I'll select Twitter as my channel tag. For term, I want to tag all my links with the UTM Builder tag because I'm running several campaigns and I use terms to differentiate between them. Lastly, for content, I just figured out that I'm missing blog, so let's edit quickly. Remember, you can add your content tags from settings, but you can also add them directly into your dashboard as well. You can drag and drop different content types for your different links, or you can apply the same content tag to all your links. This feature has been specifically designed for social media specialists who promote a variety of different content pieces in one campaign. Our single link option does not allow you to select various content types for each separate link. And this is where the great versatility of our bulk dashboard kicks in. Dragging and dropping should make it easy to control your parameters and the different colors make it easy on the eye when reviewing your campaign. Now, once we are ready, we can review our schedule and then we can save it with a click of a button. Let's just give it a few seconds and voila. Now you're all set. Your schedule is tagged and ready to be sent to Hootsuite. Instead of going link by link and sharing manually each post on Twitter, we have a nice Hootsuite button which, when clicked, sends your tagged schedule directly into the Hootsuite content publisher. Let's select the channel where we want to send the file and it will take just a couple of seconds before it's with Hootsuite. In Hootsuite, it will be instantly pre-scheduled and ready to go based on the timelines that you specified in your file. Now let's go to Hootsuite Publisher to see where we can find our posts. I need to scroll a bit to get to the right date. So give me a second. And here are all my links scheduled and ready to show on my Twitter platform tomorrow at the preset times. They're all beautifully tagged and shortened. And most importantly, the whole process took less than a couple of minutes. And that concludes today's presentation. In it, I showed you how you can save time using our Hootsuite integration feature. I showed you how to build your schedule, upload it in our app and tag it and send it to Hootsuite in under a couple of minutes. Don't forget, once you're done, you need to go to reports 
in order to activate your campaign so that it can start collecting data from Google Analytics and show you how well you're doing. Hopefully, you'll be able to use this feature happily and save yourself a lot of time. If you like this video, give us a like. And if you have any questions, don't hesitate to contact us at support at campaign-trackly.com. Thank you for watching and see you at our next video.